Matt Riddle has been released from WWE, this according to a social media post that Riddle himself revealed on X. I'm going to show you the post. I'm going to tell you what all of this means, what could be next for the former tag team and United States champion, and what may have led to his untimely or perhaps pretty timely release from the company before i do though be sure to hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released okay matt riddle again former tag team champion alongside randy orton one half of rk bros it looks like the rk bro reunion will not happen riddle revealed on x earlier today quote just wanted to inform everyone that I'm no longer with WWE. Thank you for the memories and opportunities. Also, thank you to the fans for the support and love you give me every time I go to the ring. See you soon. Matt Riddle, of course, was embroiled in a bit of controversy just a few weeks ago. It was reported, actually it wasn't reported, he posted on Instagram that he had been assaulted in an inappropriate way. He alleged that he had been assaulted in a very inappropriate way by a police officer, I believe, or sorry, an officer at JFK and led to an internal investigation there. It was later revealed that Riddle was reportedly may have been inebriated. There was a lot of, it was messy. It was a very messy situation all around. And it led to Riddle apparently just not being used. Of course, though, we also have heard from uh, Fightful Select. Go check out their full report, FightfulSelect.com. Um, not going to share all of it or any of it, really. Uh, but we do know that there weren't really that many plans for Matt Riddle um, otherwise. So the, maybe not really to do with the fact that he was uh, he embroiled in this controversy. It may have had more to do with the fact that eh, he didn't have anything for him. Riddle is, again, no stranger to controversy. He has been accused himself of misconduct, of just the worst types of harassment and acts that are some of the worst type of acts that a person can do. I'm not going to go into full detail about them, but uh, Matt Riddle has made a lot of, he, he's made a lot of enemies in, in the pro wrestling community, in the pro wrestling fandom through uh, some of these allegations that have come out against him. Of course, we dev we don't know what we don't know for sure what happened there, but doesn't look good for Matt Riddle is all I'm going to say. That being said, in the ring, Matt Riddle is a great wrestler, right? He's a great wrestler, and he had a charisma about him. He people say he's the in WWE he was the modern day RVD, and it just seems like, you know. Riddle is a guy who has been kind of, he has been given a lot of chances in WWE for multiple reasons. He's been given a lot of chances in WWE. And it just seems like, you know, the stars kind of aligned in this moment where his chances were up. You had this JFK airport incident. You've had all the baggage leading up to it. You've had, you know, um, a pass where Riddle went to rehab again, which is not, you know, that's not an indictment in itself on Matt Riddle. That's getting help. That is a good thing. It's an addiction, the disease that he's uh, fighting, right? But at the same time, with all the other bags that was associated with him, with the fact that he was caught potentially drinking and, and, and inebriated in a public setting like this and made such a public show of, of what was going on and, and the, then deleted the post, it just did not look good. You combine that with the fact that WWE, with the merger just happening and, and going final, they're releasing people. They released Dolph Ziggler. They released Mustafa Ali. They released Aaliyah. They released Emma. Elias. At this point, if you didn't have the creative for him, if you, if you saw that he was kind of making noise in ways that you didn't want if you're WWE, it was a pretty easy decision. It was a pretty easy decision. And doesn't mean he won't be back. I, I, I could see a world where Matt Riddle eventually comes back to WWE. A lot of other people have, have come back to WWE. But I'm not sure uh, if 
wrestling should be on Matt Riddle's list of priorities. You know, uh, I, I, I think that, that there, there's a few other things that he needs to get right in his life before he ever steps back foot in a ring. Um, if we kind of take a step back and look at what might be next, you know, he, he has kind of burned a bridge with the UFC and look, UFC just merged with WWE and he seemed, he, I don't, I'm not going to say he burned a bridge with WWE, but it seems like at least for right now, WWE is kind of taking a step back and being like, Hey, we're, we're not going to have you here. So if for me, who's watching all this, who's, who's been a fan uh, of WWE and, and, and watches the program, you know, I, I'm not sure if Matt Riddle was ever really that instrumental uh, post the Randy Orton stuff uh, to WWE program. He had that he had a really good feud with with Rollins, but really, if we're looking at it, Rollins carried a lot of that feud. Like if we're being honest, Seth Rollins carried that feud. Um, I'm not sure, given his history, that AEW is going to take a shot at him. They might. It's possible. But I'm not sure if that's in the cards for him. I'm not sure if Impact is going to be in the cards there. Could he go to Bellator? Um, I'm not as familiar with his history with Bellator, but I assume it's way better than his history with UFC, which I know he does not have a good pass with Dana White and UFC. So uh, there's a lot that could happen, but <sighs> crazy day. I mean, with all these releases too, like you just get the sense that, you know, when these mergers happen, uh, these releases are pretty commonplace. But you just get the sense, and, and it's an unfortunate sense to get uh, overall, like that there may be more. And I don't like saying that. I don't. I don't take like pride saying that. I'm not gonna be. Oh, God, come on, here come more release. No, no, no. But it's just, it's unfortunately part of this great corporate game that. WWE ha is playing right now. They are, they are in you know cutting cut cost mode. They're in budget cuts mode. They're in giving their uh, CEOs, their executives, excuse me, you know, bon lucrative bonuses and and things like that, while firing people. They laid off nearly a hundred staff, I believe, at their Connecticut office. It's a great corporate game. We're all a part of it, aren't we? Um, guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know in the comment section what you think of Matt Riddle's release. Until next time, be happy, be healthy, and as always, keep it real.